Don, thanks. Right now at 5:30, friends and family are preparing together for a candlelight ceremony to remember a young woman killed over the weekend. Virginia Beach police say 18-year-old Cydia Griffin was shot and walked into a hospital Saturday night, but later died. A juvenile is charged with her murder. Ten on your side's Brandy Cummings spent the day talking to her family and friends. Brandy, what were they able to tell you? Well, Stephanie, this tragedy comes as a shock to everyone we spoke to. Sadia was months away from her graduation at Kempsville High. Her parents were too emotional to speak to us on camera, but her best friend did. And even though she is still trying to process the fact that she'll never see her classmate again. She loved to dance and take pictures. This is how Jessica Corsale will remember her best friend, Sadia Griffin. Saying Sadia is dead is like completely different story than looking at her face. Like if you like see pictures of her, I'm like, she's really like, she's really dead. Like I'm not going to be able to see her. They were close. Jessica says they sat next to each other in every class. She couldn't believe the early morning call from another friend saying Sidea was gone. Uh, I didn't believe it. I thought it was a joke because Sidea getting shot it didn't seem right. Like who would she get shot by? Why? Like where was she? There are still many questions about the circumstances surrounding the teen's death. By phone, Sidea's father told me what police shared with the family. According to the dad, Sidea, her boyfriend, and another young man were in the car. Something happened, and the person in the back seat fired a shot, hitting Sidea. Her boyfriend, who was driving, took her to the hospital. I try not to cry, but it's hard. Like at night, I break down, I can't even go to sleep. And it's like, I want to stop crying, but like I keep like getting reminded of her. Chin on your side first learned of the incident Saturday night. All police said was that someone walked into the hospital with a gunshot wound and later died. Police have not said where the shooting happened. Sunday, they announced a juvenile was in custody and charged with second degree murder and using a firearm. While Jessica tries to cope with the loss in the present, the future is also difficult to imagine. Like graduation, I don't know how I'm going to cope with that because. She told me she wanted so many pictures with me. I can't get over it. And she, I don't know, it's just really sad. Like, I've never had somebody this close to me die before. Sad situation all around there. Her father told me Sidea was the perfect daughter. Her mother said she was a loving girl who just wanted to be happy. There is a candlelight service planned tonight. The group will gather at Kempsville High School at 7 p.m. Live in the newsroom, I'm Brandi Cummings, 10 on your side.